box U1226. It'll clean up and then we'll take a look inside. Make it sound like a dream, like a wet dream. Clean and nice. We'll need power cord change to to three prong standard cable. So I've installed three prong plug and wire here with the grounding wire and cleaned everything up and now I'm gonna try to turn it on and see what happens. I zeroed all the potentiometers and first I'm gonna do standby. Okay, lights come on. If the tubes light up, tubes are light up. Okay. Power on. Quiet. Seems to work quiet. Audible hum at all. Just a tiny bit. Tremble. Anyway, let's check the voltages first. Oh. 
on the plates we have 721 volt. Wow! I don't know how these guys cope with that. It's 5881 tubes. And uh, on the screen grid, let's see. It's 356. Whoa. It's kind of unusual circuit here. It has a voltage doubler for the plates. See right here, it's two diodes and uh, it's a voltage doubling circuit. So for the transformer, red wire, it says 665 volts or 640 in the schematic. So I have 750 volt. And um, the screen grids connected together and go to 330 volts, which is close to what I've got. Unusual. And I don't hear any tremor. Which tube was responsible for tremor? Well, thanks. And we have minus 48 volts bias. In the schematic it says minus 31. <clears throat> anyway, let's close the tubes are not glowing red. No tremor. Let me connect let me connect the scope and see how the waveform looks. So I connected the scope and you can see that uh, with a minus 47 volts of bias the sine wave is pretty much shows a lot of crossover distortion. So I can adjust it here. It's a very nice adjustment plot, I can do it with my hand and see when it cleans up. There we go. See how beautiful it becomes?
Okay, what's the voltage now? Minus 25. Okay, if I put it a little bit less. This is pretty nice. Minus 31, look at that. Just visually I hit the jackpot. Exactly as on schematic. Minus 31. Great. <clears throat> With the exception of the, the voltage. Oh, now it's actually with a full load, it's 633, 633 volts, so it's everything checks fine. If I stop the signal, it's 670, alright, so that was the bias, that why, that's why it was 750 volts. With the right bias, everything falls into place. Great. That's 400 hertz. Nice. This is 40 hertz. This is 10K. One K is huge difference. So at max it gives me one, two, three, four, five, fifty-five volts peak to peak with an eight ohm load. Which my load is eight ohm right here. There's no bleeding resistor on the plates. So every time I turn it off, from 100 to 200 volts stays on the plate. So you have to do discharge like this. Okay, now it's good. The result of my uh, tremolo troubleshooting. A bunch of caps, filter caps. This is all filter caps, most of them from the bias rectifier, negative voltage. <coughs> Very peculiar one, this guy. Very strange part. Supposed to be 0.47 microfarads, 10 volts in the filtering section. Anyway, uh, 
on top of everything the foot switch jack for the tremolo supposed to be isolated from the chassis if it's not it shorts the generator to the ground and nothing comes out this all fixed looks like it's working fine now I have to put everything back together and uh, this also I changed the caps um, in the tremolo circuit um, it's a pain a little bit because you have to undo the parts and everything to get to this side of the board to change the caps that's the caps that they change for uh, bias filtering and these guys I'm gonna fix right now put it in the right place so far so good very strange effect with tremolo look what happened now it's not working I turn the power off back on and it's working and it goes click and stops what the Click and it's gone. Look what happens if I put new old stock Dumont 12x7. So it's tube, this Electroharmonics 12AU7 is crap.
So here's what I did at the end. I changed the main filter cap, one tube for the tremolo, and uh, instead of uh, 5881s, I installed 6L6 GC from JJ Electronics. This 5881 soft tech was glow. This one tube was glowing red, and they were not matched anyway. So. Um, kind of intermittent but very annoying um, so the rest is fine everything works fine I can proceed to sound check now
So now I'm going to crank the amplifier all the way and see how it behaves at full volume with a little attenuator here. Oh, <laughs> 